This is a DC motor. Do you know what DC is? DC stands for direct current, which has a single path. On the other hand, AC is entirely different. AC alternates its direction, whereas DC flows in only one direction. This video focuses only on the internal parts and working function of a DC motor. If you open a DC motor, you will see these similar components. These are called stator magnets, which are permanent magnets. These permanent magnets are fixed in place and provide a constant magnetic field that interacts with the armature. This is an armature. When we see the rotor with winding, it is called the armature. This is the shaft. This is a commutator. The commutator is the rotary switch in a brush DC motor. It's the key to making the motor spin continuously in one direction. And both sides are brushed. They are made of carbon, or sometimes with metal additives like copper. Their primary function is establishing an electrical connection between the external power source and the rotating. See, the DC motor works based on the principle of the Lorentz force, or the motor effect. We will learn this with a simple example. This principle states that when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a mechanical force. Here, we have an example with a permanent magnet creating a magnetic field between them. Now, we have a separate copper wire placed within this magnetic field. If I connect this wire to a battery, when the current flows through it, it generates its own magnetic field around the wire. This magnetic field interacts with the magnetic field from the permanent magnets, resulting in a mechanical force on the wire. This force will cause the wire to move. Let's see how this DC motor works. If you look at this small DC motor, you'll see that it has three poles. These three poles are generally positioned with a mechanical angle of 120 degrees between them. Here, the three coil armature winding is connected to the commutator and the brushes on both sides are connected to the battery. So when power is transmitted through the commutator to the armature windings, each coil creates its own magnetic field according to the principles we discussed. For a given coil, Let's say the outer part becomes the north pole and the inner part becomes the south pole. The next coil, also connected to the commutator and carrying current, will similarly create its own magnetic field with a corresponding pole orientation relative to the stator magnets. Just think about the magnets. The same poles push away from each other, right? And opposite poles pull together. Now, the north poles of magnets repel each other and opposite poles attract. Um, here's the interesting part. As the armature rotates and a coil's magnetic poles approach, a certain alignment, the commutator segments move under the brushes. This switching action reverses the current in that coil and directs current to the next coil. This new coil then generates its own magnetic field. This interaction of repulsion and attraction between the armature's magnetic field and the stator's magnetic field creates the rotational force. That's it for today. I don't know if you will like our video or not, but if you do, please share your best comment. Thank you.